Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Saurav Agarwal and you are watching Data Hat, your one-stop source to upskill in AI. Many of you have been asking as to how you can use the OpenAI Chat API in order to leverage the Chat GPT capabilities, the state-of-the-art LLM for text generation. Now, there are two primary ways in which you can make use of OpenAI API. The first is through the Python package called OpenAI. The second is using the OpenAI API endpoint. In, in both of these, we are going to require an OpenAI access token. Therefore, in this particular video, we are going to understand step by step how you can create your own access key and thereby use it in your own Python programming and build various extensive applications, leveraging the capabilities of ChatGPT. In this particular video, we are going to make use of OpenAI Python package. And the first step involved in order to use the OpenAI API is to create your own access token. Right. I'll show you step by step how you can create your own access token. So this is the link to the OpenAI website. I'll share the link in the description. You can check it out. In this particular website, go on the very right and click on your profile. Once you click on your profile, you will be taken to a page which looks something like this. Therein, you have an option for user API keys. Now, I have created my own user API key and you can create your own new secret key. If you're a first time user on OpenAI platform, then OpenAI provides you a $5 credit in order to make use of it. Otherwise, you need to make a credit transaction yourself using any credit card or debit card which accepts international payment. Okay, so now once you have created this API key, make sure you save this secret key in some file because once this is generated, you cannot again see it, right? You can use it again and again, but you cannot see it from here. So make sure you save it in a separate, separate text file, okay? Now here we are going to make use of Visual Studio and we are going to create a virtual environment for the purpose to keep all our developments separate. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll create a new repository. Test open AI. I'm using a Microsoft parcel. If you're using a Linux terminal, the same you can apply and create your own uh, directories here, right? So I have created my directory. I'll move to this directory. Now here, I am going to use virtual environment, virtual n, right? If you are a Linux or Mac user, right, let us first create a virtual environment. It can work on Linux, Mac OS, as well as Windows. So virtual n, I'll create the environment name. So test env1, because I already have an environment named as test env. So I've just given test env1, okay? I've created this particular environment now. It will, it has created a virtual environment. It is using the default Python version that we have here. You can use any other version if you have multiple Python versions, right? It is using 3.9.8. The next step is to activate this virtual environment. And in order to activate this virtual environment, if you're a Windows user, then what you're gonna do, you're gonna give, let me just uh, zoom things here, right? So if you're a Windows user, you're gonna give dot backslash you're going to give the name of the environment scripts slash activate. See, this activates your environment here, right? However, if you're a Linux or Mac user, then what you need to do is let me show the steps as well, right? For a Linux and Mac user, you need to specify source forward slash environment name slash bin slash activate and your environment will be activated accordingly, right? The same thing, just different commands. Now, once your environment is activated, right? There are certain packages or certain files that we will be going to use here, right? Let me just open uh, the directory. So our repository is now open. In this repository, we are going to create certain files. The first file that we're going to create is requirements.txt. This will help you ma manage all the package installations in one place and thereby making it easier also to help you manage the various package versions. Let us just take a few standard packages, Pandas, NumPy. We other packages that you need here is OpenAI. You also require Python.env. Python.env is required because we want to load our access key using the .env file. So it keeps the secret key hidden. It does not display it directly on the screen, right? We also require IPy kernel because we are going to use a Jupyter Notebook environment here. A notebook environment here and within visual studio if you need to use an uh, python kernel you need to install ipy kernel right i can remove this 
numpy package also no, no worries here right so now i have saved this requirements.txt i'm gonna install pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and it will install all my required packages accordingly right the packages have been installed now i also need a dot env file i have created a dot env file and because i do not want to display the content of dot env on screen i'm not going to open it instead i'm going to open a separate dot ex exyz file so that i can show you how you can maintain your access key so within this dot env file which you are going to create make sure you name it dot env open ai underscore api underscore key and within this you specify your sk token that you got when you created your open ai access token right you are going to paste it here and save it now i'm going to remove this file because we don't need it i already have a dot env file right so i our requirements.txt has been completed we installed the packages we created a dot env file the next we are going to create is a ipython kernel so i'm going to name it test open ai dot ipy nv in this particular uh, notebook we are going to use open ai api key and create a conversation thread that has the same capabilities as chat gpt and we are going to use gpt 3.5 turbo you can use other models as per your own requirements so from open ai import open ai these are some of the packages that we are going to import import os from dot env import load dot env these are the three packages that we require right you might also be prompted in order to select the appropriate kernel when you uh, first run this notebook environment so make sure you select the environment corresponding to the environment that you generated here test env1 okay now the next thing we are going we're going to load our en dot environment file so for that we need to run load dot env once you run this you will see a message displaying true which means our dot env has been correctly loaded in the uh, standard memory right it will not be displayed directly on the screen now we are going to create a open ai client like this okay. within this open ai client if you want to specify the api key directly you can also use the api key parameter and then specify but it is not recommended again for privacy concerns instead use a dot env file okay then the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create a messages template so remember that we are going to create a conversation thread so for each conversation thread it is important to load the previous responses and the input messages as a history right so for that we are going to create a list and within this list we are going to store the messages accordingly and for each message there are two parameters one is role other is content right And there are three different roles as you would recall from our earlier videos when we created various chatbots the three roles are system user and assistant we are going to provide here the system prompt here or the system input you are a helpful ai assistant that can make jokes okay let's make it little quirky for the uh, for the other message we are going to pass the role as user which will basically be the user input you can take this as a standard input from the console okay now within this let me pass hello how are you and we'll see what the response is we are going to run this now we have to create a response thread or basically the conversation thread for this we are going to call client dot chat dot completions dot create we are going to specify the model name gpt 3.5 turbo we are going to pass the messages we can also specify the temperature parameter top p and those things here i'm going to specify temperature as 0.7 and if you uh, re remember that temperature value lies between 0 and 1 higher value of temperature corresponds to higher uncertainty or randomness okay so our response thread has been generated okay it has run successfully let's print the response response dot choices uh, zero 
dot messages message dot content yeah so this is our response hello i am doing great thanks for asking just here ready to assist you how can i make you smile today so this is how we can generate response using open ai api key you can pass multiple messages here create threads i'll show you an example of how you can create a chat thread right let me show you for instance here right while true user message you take the user message as assist as input now uh, remember understand here now within this messages we are going only going to provide a system input because rest user and then assistant we are going to generate within the loop you are going to provide some exit condition here say for instance here i have specified that if user message is empty then i'm going to exit my loop within the messages i'm going to append the user message so that it keeps the history of the chat then i'll call this same response client i'll pass all the messages i'll get the bot response in this variable i'm going to print the output and then again append the bot response to my messages thread right and for the exit condition that if i have not supplied any message it means i want to end the conversation so this is how you can create a conversation thread you can specify an exit condition you can also leverage these llms in any other uh, tools that we have built so far the chatbot applications the rag pipelines wherever we are using any open source llm at the same very place you can use this open ai api and leverage your conversation threads Hope you enjoyed this lecture. If you learned something new, make sure to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next lecture. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.